thank all the participants and volunteers, and、um, all the community members and collaborators who worked with us. Without them, we wouldn't have been able to carry out this type of work. And you can find out who they are actually on our website. Thank you. So, Project Protect, we use multiple strategies to address, and as you can see here, that many of the community partners that we have and strategies that we built were based on years of working together. And what we learned is that by building relationships and maintaining those relationships, then we're able to actually mobilize all of us to work together within a very short period of time. When we submitted our application, we had a team of eight researchers and twelve community collaborators. But as we started the project, we had built many, many. We applied for the funding based on the SARS experience. At that time, I was working at Toronto Public Health, but on the weekends and in the evenings, I was working with the community to address what was happening in the Chinese and East Asian communities. We were experiencing a lot of racism, and there was a lack of information.、Uh, all the information out there at that time was only in English.